Hello, Virgo. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you for being here, especially if you're new. Welcome. We are going to be getting into a reading for you, Virgo. I appreciate all my subscribers who have stuck around. But we're going to see, Virgo, what is being hidden from you that you need to be aware of at this time. You guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe, spam your Virgo symbols in the comments if the reading is resonating, you guys. Let's go ahead and see for you. What is being hidden from Virgo, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors of the highest vibration? Ooh, father, mother, God for Virgo. What's being hidden from Virgo at this time that they need to be aware of? Oh my goodness, healing, but it was in the reverse. Somebody is not healing. So somebody's trying to make it seem like they're healing when they're actually not. Okay, daughter. And then we have material gain. So this could be a feminine energy. Whenever I get the daughter card or the son card, it kind of throws me off. But I feel like this could be your daughter. This could be your mother. But someone is only acting like they're healing because of like the money involved or the material gain involved. Someone is not actually healed. Or, you know, there may be a person who's trying to make it seem like they're better or they're doing better or they've healed or they changed their life <sighs> just so that they can get energy from you. That's what it kind of feels like to me. Like this person has not really taken the time to actually like rise above whatever their issues are. They're still being drowned by whatever issues that they have and they don't want you to know. What else when it comes to what's hidden from, from Virgo? Up, I'm telling you, it came out in reverse. Upgrade in reverse. Oh my God. Excuse me. Transformation. New line of study. Reach, <laughs> researching occult things. So Virgo, it seems that there's a person who's trying to make it seem like they're on a spiritual journey or they may be researching magic they may be researching spirituality. Um, I don't know. They may be watching healers, astrologers, tarot readers online. And it's like they want to try to embody that energy. But really, they have not done the work or they aren't they aren't really putting in the work that you're like putting in the same way that you're putting it in. They're not putting it in. OK, OK. Something is not going well for someone. Someone is on the decline. Someone is transforming or it's like, oh, transformation with the upgrade and healing in reverse. That's like de-evolution. Somebody is de-evolving. Because I feel like they're using their gifts inappropriately or they're using magic inappropriately. They're influencing people in a negative way. What else for Virgo when it comes to what's hidden? Closing old doors. Mm. Yeah, so since you've closed a door with someone, they've de evolved. Yeah, filing for divorce. Leap of faith. Trust your intuition. Jump off the crazy train. Make a new life. I feel like you guys are making a new life for yourself. You're closing old doors in your life. You're evolving. Your life is upgrading. You are healing. You are transforming. You're evolving into something even bigger and better than what you've been. And another person, whoever this is, they're not doing that. Whoever you came to this reading for, even I'm getting like cross watchers. I, I just tell people if you're going to cross watch, <laughs> crotch watch, cr do it at your own risk. But a lot of times if you're the one watching the video, more than likely I'm talking about you. I may not be talking about Virgo. This could be you if you're cross watching a Virgo. They could be de-evolving. So just take it how it resonates. But I feel like that's what's hidden. Somebody's trying to make it seem like they're moving forward. Somebody's trying to make it seem like they're getting better. Somebody's trying to make it seem like they're making progress, but they're actually not. And I feel like the only reason why they're lying to you about it is because they want some type of energy from you. Because they know if they're in the same spot that they've been in their whole life, you're not going to entertain them or you're not going to 
you know, humor them, okay? This could be your mother or your father. You could be the daughter. This could be your daughter if you're their mother or father, you know? Or this could just be a feminine energy. Okay, so what's hidden from Virgo? Spirit, when it comes to this situation, what's hidden from Virgo? Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody's lying. Somebody's being deceitful. I feel like they're trying to get one over on you. That's what it feels like to me. They could be stressing you out. Someone could be an alcoholic. They could have insomnia. They could struggle to sleep. I'm getting that as well. Yeah, the moon card and the four of wands. They're secretly trying to accomplish or just like they're trying to accomplish something in a sneaky way. I don't even think it's secretly. I just feel like someone underneath the surface is very sneaky. They're a liar. They're a cheater. They try to get over on people. They try to take advantage of people in order to get what it is that they want. Okay. What's the seven of swords? Three of wands. Yeah. And I feel like you expected this from this person. This person just lies in wait. It's like they wait in the bushes to jump out at you and say, boo, you know? Booga booga. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, look, nine of swords. They lie in the bushes and wait to scare you. But see, with the three of wands and the high priestess, it's like you already expected this. Like your intuition is telling you this. Like somebody's waiting to ambush. They're trying to ambush you. And they're really scared at the end of the day. Like this person is really fearful of what they don't know. They they fear what they don't know. They fear what they don't see. They're scared of everything. They have anxiety about what's coming next. Yeah, and it comes from their childhood trauma. Six of Cups just popped out. They have anxiety or fear about what comes next because for whatever reason, they've, they, I, I don't know if it's low self-esteem or what, but it's like the main thing that they fear is what they create through their actions. This person is afraid of what they don't see. Um... Because I feel like there's something about their intuition that they have not connected to or is still confusing to them or they just don't want to face it. What's the seven of swords for a wand? So Aries energy is really strong, possibly also Aquarius. I feel like you've closed the door on this person. With the four of wands and the three of wands... Yeah, this is, I feel like this is a warning that you're getting about this person. The action that they're planning to take towards you is, it feels like someone is going to try to sabotage your accomplishments or it's like they're, li they're, they're lying in wait to ambush you. And I'm getting a strong warning, seven wands, seven swords. They know that you're about to accomplish a goal. And they're either going to try to get you to self-sabotage or they're going to try to sabotage or ambush you themselves. Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. This person may have even tried to like steal a relationship from you or ruin a relationship. It's like whenever you're feeling happy or whenever you're celebrating, this person sees that and they're like, oh, got to come in and fuck it up. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Because they're anxious about what they don't know about their future. It's like even if you're not like that, like you may walk around and kind of like go with the flow. And it feels like this person is more so like cautious of every single thing. And if something good happens to you, it's kind of like a sign to this person. Like, they, this is the way they think about it. Something good happens to Virgo. They see something good happen to Virgo. And they're like, oh my God, is that a sign that something bad is going to happen to me because we're opposites? Or I don't know. This could be a Pisces. I almost bit my tongue though on that. So maybe not. What's Virgo's energy? Ten of Swords. You guys could definitely be feeling betrayed by this person. You, you've you experienced this. So whatever I'm saying is just confirming what you've already experienced. Yeah, five of swords. You may even be like trying to get revenge on someone because you feel like they ruined things for you. 
and you want to ruin something for them. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to tell you, like, you can do whatever you want to do, but that's not going to last very long. Five of Swords is fleeting. But I do feel that you, if this person has been trying to do that towards you, like, if this person is very tit for tat and they try to get back at you or, do, you know, just do things that get back at you for whatever they feel in their head that you did to them, you can feel it. You feel betrayed by this person. And either you're the one trying to get revenge or you're the one walking away because you just don't want the drama, which I feel like that's for a lot of you guys. Uh, a lot of you guys are taking the high road with this person because you know that revenge is short lived. You know, revenge is best served cold. So when you balance your energy out, when you transmute their negativity into positivity for you, you know that that's how to best get like revenge. That's what I really feel. What's the Ten of Swords? Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay. All right. It's like, you know, the truth now. I feel like you're also like isolating yourself from this person because you don't need a crowd it feels like this person needs a crowd of people around them to validate them and you see the truth now about this person's betrayal very clever Ooh, my stomach's growling yeah judgment and the death card scorpio energy you could have scorpio in your chart cancer or pisces in your chart gemini maybe aquarius or even libra but you're waking up to the truth. And I feel like you're real. What you're realizing about this person, Virgo, is that what you're waking up to about this person is that you transforming, you changing, you evolving, you becoming more mature, you being able to handle your emotions in a more balanced way and not like be tit for tat with them is that's why they're really coming after you. That's why they're really trying to attack you. That's why they're really trying to get some type of get back. And you can see that because maybe in the past you may have been very reactional with this person, but because you're not reacting to this person, it's causing them to kind of like be confused about what they should do. Yeah. Main female. So it's definitely a feminine energy. That's what I was getting with the daughter card, unexpected income and high honor. So if you're the feminine energy as well, I feel like you could be dealing with another feminine energy. This person could be very childish. Um, but I feel like there's some type of unexpected income or appreciation, honor that's going to come into your life in the near future. Um, you're accomplishing a goal and this person is going to try to ruin it. Yep, because you ended things with them coughing. Number 19 could be significant. I forgot the other numbers. It was high honor and um, unexpected income. So let's see, 25, 7, 25, 7, 27, 9, 10, 2, 39, 12, 3, 38, 11. Those could be significant numbers. I'm not going to remember them. I'm just going to say them that one time. Yeah, you're the head B H head, head whatever. What is it? Head H B I C. Okay, the H B I C head bitch in charge. Yeah, I feel like you put an end to a situation because someone was just not evolving with you. They wanted to keep doing that petty tit for tat back and forth type of situation. You also may be deciding with the community card, coffin, and the toil and labor. It's like you're going to stop working on something with someone and it's like it doesn't even matter what people say. There could definitely be a lot of support or appreciation or honor that you're receiving from your community. And you're realizing this is what really irks this person is that something about your success makes them feel like they fail. But that's not actually true. It's, it's like there are childhood insecurities. What's the energy around Virgo? the star mm. you could have Aquarius around you I feel like you motivate a lot of people too I feel like you give people hope 
Yeah, the lovers and the six of wands. A lot of people around you feel drawn to you because you're successful or you make them feel successful. I don't even know if I took a thumbnail. Okay, just in case. Yeah. And you're very, like, aware of... It feels like you're very, like, aware of what's going on. Like, you're going to make sure everything is taken care of. People are drawn to you, though, because you're shining really brightly. I feel like you're a star. What's the star for the energy around Virgo? Oop, two of wands reversed. Okay. Someone made a bad decision. And they want to try to fix it or heal the situation. Someone made a bad decision that caused a blow up or caused some type of tower. Or it negatively affected their environment. Nine of Pentacles, uh, Temperance. I was about to say Two of Cups. I feel like someone around you made a bad decision to try to sabotage your success, but it just made you even more successful. This could even be somebody spreading rumors about you. Like someone made a bad decision to say negative things about you or try to sabotage you. What's the star card with the two of wands reversed? King of swords. Yeah. Ooh, strong Aquarius energy. But that could also be highlighting you, Virgo, Libra, Gemini. Libra Aquarius is strong. And then possibly Gemini, you Virgo, maybe Scorpio as well. You're having a victory because you're not responding. You're having a victory because you're controlling your emotions. Someone, Someone's plan didn't work and now they have to recover. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and the Lovers. <laughs> whatever someone said or whatever someone did or whatever their plan was, to try to like hurt you or sabotage you or turn people against you. It's like it backfired. It made people love you even more. Who is this person to Virgo? Oh my God. The page of cups and the ace of cups. So it's a strong water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is someone who loves you. Or who you have a lot of love for. This could even be someone new that you just met. This is someone whose emotions are very immature though. Like this could be your kid. Maybe your kid tried to say that you were being a horrible parent. But whatever they were describing made you look like a really good parent. Or, vi or whatever, you know. Even if it's not your child. This could be a person who's very childish. And whatever you did, Virgo, was very mature, King of Cups. But their emotions are very immature. Your emotions are very mature. So when this person was saying what you did, they expected for people to, like, flip sides on you or betray you. But they actually support you more now because of what this person said. Yeah, Seven of Wands and Judgment. This person is very quick to judge or they're very quick to feel judged. And it just seems crazy. It seems like they, because uh, that's what I feel. I feel like somebody said something about you or we're trying to convince people against something that you were doing. And it kind of just like backfired because I feel like this person is extremely judgmental or they feel judged. So they act defensive and it's like, there's no reason for them to be defensive because I don't think you were doing anything to hurt them. But because they feel so sensitive and triggered and defensive, they may have tried to counterattack you by saying something or doing something negative to make you look bad or to make people be on their side. But because they were jumping to conclusions or jumping to react, that plan didn't work. So what does Virgo need to watch out for in the near future? magic yeah negative magic or like things coming back to you i would just definitely say because i got a strong warning that this person is going to try to ambush you again they may try to pop up and argue with you or like they may try to call you out in public in front of people with the community card that we saw 
but uh it's it's like after something ended they're trying to convince people in the community not to like you but it's not working so just be very mindful of like spell work backfiring magic backfiring be very mindful of someone trying to ambush you or sabotage you or bait you into an argument because if you stoop to their level it's gonna backfire on you yeah mail look out for important documents in the mail you may be hearing from someone you haven't heard from in a long time surveillance. So they're watching you and they're going to reach out. You're going to hear from them. Someone is keeping a very close eye on you. There may be a situation in your life that needs reviewing. Watch out for people trying to like sabotage your thoughts, make you not believe in yourself. Any of those types of things that could be like negative magic. What else does Virgo need to watch out for in the near future? Water, definitely a water sign. Yeah, it feels like this is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Involved in... There's a there's a water sign involved. So, place yourself. i just say, take it how it resonates. But yeah, it feels like a strong water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But there's also strong air, especially Aquarius and Libra. Also, Gemini. Okay, a clown. This person is very silly by nature. This person also might be wearing a disguise. This is someone who changes their personality around different people. And then we have lunch. So something could be happening around lunchtime. Or you just need to be mindful of your food, what food you eat, especially at lunch. Or something could be happening with this person in the afternoon. They may reach out to you in the afternoon. Okay, so what's the advice for Virgo in this situation? <laughs> Love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you like this motherfucking person. Okay, saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please other people is a real act of self-love. Yeah, so don't let this person convince you to like... Uh, okay, because with the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Wands, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, whoever this is expects that they can like ambush you with some type of like peace offering. It feels like this person is asking you to go to lunch. They're going to ask if you want to catch lunch so that y'all can talk about this. They want to tell you about the bad decision that they made or why they made a bad decision and defend themselves, but they're just going to keep being defensive. So I feel like this is an ambush if this person invites you out to lunch. Because I feel like they're going to try to bait you into an argument. So just if you want to say no, say no. Don't feel obligated to do anything for anyone, no matter what the circumstances are, because again, I feel like with this material gain, there's something that they're gaining from you, whether it's money, time, energy, essence, aura, they're gaining something from you that they want to try to finagle out of you after you've closed this door or you've severed this contract and jumped off the crazy train from this person. But they feel new line of study, magic in reverse, that they can manipulate the situation and kind of like ambush you and make you face them when you don't actually have to. Okay. You will soon be surprised and grateful for how everything happened the way it did for you to receive better and greater. It's all adding up in your favor. Trust the process and how things are unfolding for you. And finally, don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made, even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. So I feel like this was inevitable. Whatever this situation is, it was inevitable that it was going to happen this way. It was inevitable that you were going to see this person for who they truly are. It was inevitable that things were going to turn around. It was inevitable that you were going to sever ties. So I don't think that it, no matter what happens, no matter how apologetic a person is, no matter how much they say that they're healing, no matter how much they say they want to move forward and leave the past in the past or let bygones be bygones, this situation was going to end. And there's nothing that this person can do unless you allow them. There's nothing that this person can do to like rekindle whatever this is. So I hope that helped you guys spam your Virgo zodiac signs in the comments if it resonated you guys like the video subscribe 
and I will see y'all next time. Bye.